Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading. This is for all signs. If you found this reading and any sign of the person that you may be thinking of, please use this reading to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of, or to confirm a love that's come into your life recently. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful spirit has guided you here. Let's see what messages the love spirit has for you today. Spirit, I am listening for you now. Please send out some guidance for us. What is it that we need to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have unconditional love. Beautiful. Beauty and the beast. Beauty and the beast. Unconditional love. Okay. We want somebody to love us for who we are. We want somebody to see us for good, bad, and ugly and still love us, right? So unconditional love coming your way. Gorgeous. I have balance, the snow daughter and the fire sun. So you can see this hot and cold energy that, you know what, we can still be together, even if we're really different or opposites attracting or something along those lines. But you can see that we are definitely balancing each other with that hot and cold energy. But that's okay. I feel like maybe it's the best qualities in each of us that we're just totally different and Maybe that's what makes it work. You know, we have a lot, a lot of things that we like about each other, but maybe we just have like totally different careers or, you know, one of us is right sided uh, brain and one's left sided brain um, activities, you know, so that could be going on as well. And then I have sacrifice the mermaid, just this feeling of you know what, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to be in this connection with you. And I'm willing to be flexible. I'm willing to be understanding. I'm willing to do things to make it work. So there's lots of beautiful energy coming in, balance, unconditional love and sacrifice, you know, and those are all qualities that we want in a healthy relationship. Spirit, please share with us Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and your comments. Always very, very grateful that you're here. Let's see what they mean by, um, you know, first of all, I want to go back to this kind of hot and cold energy or even opposites attracting, you know, sometimes the best relationships are not what we thought, not what we had, you know, foresaw for ourselves. So you want to be careful with those types of things. I have a princess of swords, princess of swords. I have a princess of pentacles. I have a queen of pentacles. Beautiful. And I have a king of king of pentacles. Okay. So you can see this balance. It's, it's almost this feeling of, um, I have this, you know, strength in security or strength in, um, we both are strong. Okay. We're both strong. We're both independent. We both know what we want. I, I do feel like that. I feel like we both speak our mind. Um, you certainly are able to speak your mind, you know, so this is somebody that you can either be yourself with. Um, they see your intellectual quality spirit just said, you're very smart. You're very, um, you know, up on things or conversations or things like that. You know, sometimes we're more attracted to the person intellectually than we are even physically. You know, like we want the person that we can have a long heart to heart conversation with. We want the person who, um, you know, that we like what they have to say. <laughs> we like the person who we think they're smart or they're intelligent or they, um, you know, they just are responsive in, in some way. So there's definitely a feeling of, an intellectual uh, connection going on. For those of you that that's really important to you, let's see what else I have. I have an eight of pentacles. Yeah, there's a sense of working. Some You probably are able to compare notes with work, career, something along those lines. An ace of wands, traction coming in, and I have a chariot, beautiful. And I have a judgment. Now this is coming into me now as, um, almost a feeling of, you know, I'm instantly attracted to you for sure. I definitely feel like I am 
Um, I don't know. I'm going to say waves of energy just coming towards me. You know, like I'm, I'm physically attracted to you. I'm intellectually attracted to you. I like what you have to say. Um, and it's almost a feeling of a very romantic evening coming into me now that um, a little bit of a feeling of magical or enchantment or the sense of, um, I, I don't know, everything about it just felt magical for a moment, like everything is just starting to line up or in, in moving forward, I guess I want to say that way, you know, something along those with that, that, yeah, bottom of the deck, I have the fool. So I'm going to say more along the lines of like, you know, one enchanted evening kind of changes our whole life, you know, just this, it felt magical. It was great conversation. It could have been a great date. It could have been a great dinner. Um, it just felt like we were in sync with each other. So I'm going to put it in that category of just one enchanted evening. You know, our hearts are kind of meeting and our hearts are connecting. And it just feels like, it just felt magical. I'm, I'm going to say it that way, you know, so beautiful. So this, this person coming into our energy spirit, tell me more about this connection. What is it that we need to know today? I have, we're ready to go on a venture. Okay. Get into Cinderella's pumpkin here, her, her little chariot and let's go for a ride. Let's go for an adventure. Let's start this journey. You know, this just kind of feeling of, when we meet somebody and we connect with somebody and we feel like it's in sync and everybody goes, so how was your date? And you're like, it actually was really good. We had a really good time and we talked for hours and it was supposed to be just like a cup of coffee or whatever, but it turned into like a four hour conversation. There's definitely a sense of intellectual, like I can talk to this person. I enjoy talking to this person. Um, so I, I'm going to say that that's where the in feeling is coming into me. I have fickleness. Now that's coming into me as somebody is usually very picky. That could be you. You could be very picky. <laughs> Normally somebody can't hold your attention. Somebody, you don't like what they have to say. You don't like their attitude. You don't like their politics. You don't like um, the way that they speak, you know, like they just are you know, you kind of think like, I wouldn't say something like that to somebody, you know, so I have a feeling that one of you is uh, picky, I'm going to say it that way. And you have every right to be picky, you're trying to meet your soulmate, you're trying to meet your match, you have every right to be picky. But this person you enjoy, you really do enjoy being with, I have truthfulness, you can tell in your heart and in your soul that when they're talking to you and looking into your eyes that they're telling you a true story, they're not holding back, they're very upfront, they're very, you, Spirit just said, very forgiving in a sense that they either are forgiving things from their past, they talk out loud about, you know, I've moved on. So there's a sense of truth that comes um, through that when you first are even um, with this person. So that's beautiful. And then a sense of encouragement. I feel excited. I mean, look at this. It's like, uh, you know, all right. So Cinderella gets in her pumpkin, right? It turns into a pump. The pumpkin turns into a beautiful carriage, whatever the, whatever happens there. But you can see this princess is excited. This princess is excited about um, this enchanted evening, right? I'm, I'm, I'm excited that I actually met somebody that I feel like I could speak to. I feel like I can, um, I connected to, I, they made me laugh. They made me smile. They answered my questions, you know, whatever it is about this person that you feel like the, the conversations could have gone on for hours is spirit is saying. So this person in you are definitely in sync and you are realizing it. I feel like right out of the gate, you know, like you're, this isn't somebody I'm going to have to wonder about. I feel like right from that first date onward, it's a feeling of, you know what, there's definitely a connection here. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing where, you know, where this can go next. So 
How exciting. I have family spending more time together. Okay. This feeling of um, family coming first, that person could say, you know what, I love my family. I spend a lot of time with my family on my weekends. Home um, is really important to me. My kids, if they have kids, grandkids, whatever it is. But we, we want to be with somebody who you feel like they have a normal life, that they have, you know, they love their family and they're connected to their family and, and that that's their priority. I mean, that that's, that's probably a good sign that somebody has a good sense of foundation. So somebody who has a strong family, I feel very, this person's very sexy to you. I'm very attracted to you. Lots of flirting. You're very enticing to them. All eyes are on you. Your confidence is sexy to them. So there's this beautiful sense of, I am definitely attracted to you, whether it's the way they're looking at you, it's the way that they're talking to you. They look at you in the eye when they're talking to you. They're not looking around and wondering who else they should be looking at. You know, like they ha you have their attention and that is, that's beautiful. A gift, an expression of love. Okay. So you're being appreciated, but I do want to say maybe a gift giver, you know, somebody who's very giving, whether it's somebody who brings you a little something when we see, see each other, they like to pick pick little things up for you. Um, they like to buy birthday presents and anniversary presents or holidays, um, or they're just very giving with their time and their energy. And, um, and they, they like to do little things for you. So that that's a beautiful quality in somebody also. Um, unblocked, okay, moving on, okay, releasing things trying to make things go more smoothly. They have removed some blocks. Maybe they were holding back with some trust issues at a point in their life, or they were, they had, they've been released from legal obligations. They're free. Okay. They're, they're no longer in the middle of a divorce. They've been divorced for years, whatever it is. They just want their, their life to kind of go smoothly, right? They want, they want to just move forward with their life and, and just kind of get back to, you know what? I'd love to meet somebody that I really do feel a connection to. I think that's important. Success. I want happiness in my life. I feel that this person, look at it, it's like they're successful in a lot of different areas. They want happiness and love. They're prosperous. Their career's going well. They have good health. They're working on their healing and they're financially stable. So this person has something to offer. There's a there's a feeling of you know what, they kind of have, they have their act together, right? And if they've put their past behind them, and they're just focusing on meeting somebody just like you to be with you, then that's important. You know, there's like, I've always wanted someone just like you, and you're perfect for me. <laughs> um, you know, just this feeling of perfect for me, you could be saying that something, um, you could be saying that, you know what, they're perfect for you. Like, you're like, oh my God, just that one evening was enough for me to say, if it keeps going this way, you know, like I just met my Prince Charming and, and we are going to, you know, kind of, you know, run away like Cinderella. All right. Let's see what, let's see if they give me a timeline, any timeline today, spirit. What is this? What is it that you have? Tomorrow looks promising. I want to put this in the category of, for those of you that are manifesting, that like it's like any day now, right? Any day now, the number 33, any day now that, you know, this this kind of knight in shining armor and beautiful, romantic, enchanted um, love comes into your life. And, and that's where we're believing and we're hoping and we don't ever lose hope because you are worthy and deserving. If this has come into your life, I'm going to say claim it, own it. It's yours because you've got somebody that's stable in other areas of your life, a gift giver. They think you're sexy. It's like, you know what? Nice package. Um, it's going to be worth the time, worth the time putting into this person worth the time into getting to know them, um, putting some time and effort into, you know, sharing your stories with each other. All of those things are going to add up. And, and I feel like you're going to end up where you want to be um, in 12 months from now. It doesn't mean you're meeting this person in 12 months from now. Everybody always comments about things like that. 
where you start, if you met this person tomorrow, okay, and it's promising and it really truly is the person you connected to, where are you guys going to be in a year from now? Wouldn't that be exciting? Wouldn't that be fun that you've met somebody that in a year from now you guys have decided that we're not going anywhere and we really want to stay together and you really truly have met your person. I have the next full moon. We'll keep that open too. So we have some other numbers here, the number two, 29 and 48. Spirit is sharing with me some letters now. Let me just grab those intuitively. So I just got the letter um, S. I have the letter T. I have a letter D. I have a Z. I have the letter E. I have a C. I have a M and I have a O and one more, please spirit, please show me what letter they're saying the letter F today. So thank you for those letters as well. Let's see what else they want us to know about this connection. What is it that they need us to know? I have a five of swords, five of swords, seven of pentacles. I have a wheel of fortune. Wheel of Fortune, and I have a Fool. Yeah, no doubt in my mind this is a new journey. No doubt in my mind that, you know, it all starts with one amazing evening that we both feel it, you know. I mean, do you feel love at first sight? Possibly, but I'm going to say it's more of a feeling of, you know what, that was great. That was, I'm so glad I met you. I'm so glad we got to meet each other tonight. I really enjoyed our conversation. I really enjoyed our evening. And I feel like that's where the starting point happens. And then you start to think bigger. Is this the person I'm supposed to be with? Is this the person that's meant to come into my life? Is, is this the type of person I can see myself with? And I'm going to say I start to put away, you know, some of the old wounds and hurts and the old fears of, of who I was with in the past or how far I've come to, to be in this connection. Um, you know, you, you have moved on. I'm going to say, you know, this is like repairing damage. Okay. It's like I've rebuilt my life. Um, you know, I've been working through some fears and some hurts and some wounds and overcome some things that I struggled with. And, you know, you're in a different place. And then spirit brings you somebody that is ready to share. Look at this beautiful king of cups, like beautiful throne and crown and just this beautiful, elegant cup, you know, just this feeling of, I've got somebody for you is how it just came into me. I, I've got somebody for you. I've got somebody that wants to share their life with you. Queen of Pentacles, um, very secure. You feel secure in this connection. And I, I really love this feeling of, you know, I've moved on also, right? I've moved on so that I can choose. I can choose, this is coming into me as I always wanted this, you know, like this is the kind of connection I've always wanted. And I do, here's my queen of wands, bottom of my deck, queen bottom of my deck is the sun and the queen of wands. So somebody who sees this beginning in you and, you know, you do have so much to offer. You know, when you sit across a table from somebody on that first date, you know, what, what, what is it about that person? You know, their body language, their, the eye contact, the words that they're saying, the way that they're looking at you, their smile. Are they a good listener? What are the questions that they're asking? You know, what are they willing to share or not share? Like all of those things, I feel like you may not get all the answers, of course, in that first meeting, but I feel like this particular connection was enough to make you feel like you want to do it again and again and again. So it was magical. It was um, it was an enchanted and magical evening, whatever, whenever this happens or if this has happened. Spirit, please share with me, what is this feeling that you have for us? What is it that 
they see in us? What is it that you want us to know? I became obsessed with you and it scared me. It could be right from the beginning. Like all of a sudden now I'm thinking about you. I can't get you out of my, my mind. I can't wait to get this started. You're too beautiful. I, you know, there's no such thing as you're too beautiful, you know, but they could be just like, wow, you know, like this is, this is, you're amazing. You're everything that I've been looking for. You're everything that I've wanted. Um, I've been searching for this. So, you know, that first impression I think is always important on both sides, right? And on both sides, you know, you want to be equally attracted to them. I like this. I'm offering you, I'm offering you something real. You know, the person who comes into your life that it's what you always wanted, okay? It's what you are, you know, somebody that's going to turn into something so much more, all right? Something that says, I want to be there for you in the future. I want to be there. I want to see where this goes. And I think it's because of the the way that we connect intellectually. I really do. I mean, yes, it looks like you're very attracted to each other, but I feel like it's more this person and you, like it's hours and hours of conversation. It's like we could talk for hours and never stop talking and, and always have something to say and always be engaged with each other. And it's just so much fun. I can't think straight around you. Beautiful. I can't get you out of my head. I can't stop thinking about you. No one has ever believed in me the way that you do. That feeling I had earlier with this kind of honesty and trust and truthfulness, I, I feel like this person's going to speak from their heart. I feel like you are going to understand them right out of the gate. You're going to believe in them, believe their story, um, trust them. You know, there, there's going to be this kind of, I, I absolutely just, you know, trust you uh, feeling. We've shared many past lives together. You know, when that person comes into your life and you feel like I've known you forever, I, we just fall back in sync with each other. It's been right from the beginning of this reading. So that's beautiful. And you are my destiny. We are going to go with this because I really feel like it's this sense of it all starts with some kind of magical, enchanted first date of some kind that you guys will never forget. And um, we're just going to put this out into the universe. If this hasn't happened, this is going to be coming. And if it has happened, I want you to claim it. This reading is yours. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words always. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelandpsychicmedium.com.